So how are you guys doing? We're back. Bunny Flocks here. Um, this past week has been a little bit crazy. Uh, I've been traveling for the holidays. You know, I, I bounced from Georgia to Virginia Beach, back to D.C., and I've just been driving around uh, crazy for the past week. I picked up my son, so my son is here with me. Um, so I haven't been able to do that much OSCP, um, so I had to resort to just more reading and studying and videos. Um, but something I did want to talk to you guys about uh, really quick. Um, so I am taking the uh, the pen test plus. I actually just paid for it. And I'm taking the pen test plus uh, January 12th or something like that. I think next week or something like that. Anyway, I'm taking it about a week or two. Um, and before you get crazy or anything, this is not pen test plus is not taking place for me anyway of, of my OSCP. I'm definitely still taking OSCP. Uh, scheduled for end of March, early April. The reason I'm taking Pen Test Plus, um, if you watch my IT certs versus uh, degrees video, or even my CISSP video, I'm a, from my personal experience, I'm a, I'm a strong proponent of certifications. Um, I know a lot of you guys will probably jump on me or get on me about, uh, you know, how can you take Pen Test Plus? Have you talked crap about it? <clears throat> earlier uh, in my first video I talk about how the pen test plus is just a multiple choice <clears throat> question uh, multiple choice exam and it is so there's a few reasons I'm going to get into why I'm taking the pen test plus first number one in my specific situation I know this isn't this doesn't apply to a lot of people but for me it's going to be free um, the company I work for will will reimburse me for it once I pass so there's that and these reasons aren't aren't going to be in any particular order I'm just going to shoot them out as I as I go down the list. Um, so that's reason number one. Reason number two, um, I'm a strong, again, I'm, I'm a strong proponent of IT certifications. I believe they're great supplements to a resume. Um, like most people, I don't have strong industry connects with hiring managers and, and IT companies and cybersecurity companies. So um, when I'm in the job field or when I'm looking for employment, the best thing I have facing forward as far as getting a chance for an interview is, a re is my resume. Um, I, when I, you know, I apply to jobs, I put my resume out there. Um, I, in my attempts to secure at least an interview, I try to make my resume as strong as possible. Um, and for me, that's obtaining certifications that are geared towards my career field or my interests and or degrees. So I, I combine both of those for the same purpose. Um, so for me, uh, being that I've been in compliance all this time for about 10 years now, trying to make my way into red teaming and pen testing, this is an obvious uh, choice for me. So I feel like get the pen test plus, even though I'm studying for OSCP, I'm gonna get that early next year um, as a supplement, you know, as, as a means of showing at this moment in time, I am learning, continuously learning and and doing things being taking initiative for my career pen test plus is a no-brainer i do have my ceh but as we all know there's issues there's been ongoing issues with the validity of ceh um I, I believe it was last year or the year before i'm not really sure where the price skyrocketed the price skyrocketed ridiculously um almost a thousand dollars or so something like that uh and also there's issues there's been issues with a lot of the grammar on the test and English misspellings and then also there's been a lot of industry scandal I guess about some of the questions and and people disagreeing with the questions and their answers and their their methods so CEH has 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 been having issues with the industry on those things um, at the end of the day it's still a DOD 8570 uh, what's the word verified cert is on there as a DOD cert um, at the moment in time pen test plus isn't pen test plus only came out this year you know I took the beta in March failed it miserably um, but I think it became official in October September I'm not sure some maybe sometime in the summer or the fall um, so pen test plus is still new as far as the comp cert for penetration testing um, so so this is how I look at it as far as strategy wise okay I have CEH um, already on my resume. Personally, after taking it, um, 
I remember passing and I, I, I didn't feel like an ethical hacker. I didn't know, obviously I didn't know anything to consider myself an ethical hacker. Um, and it, that's, an also, that's also another issue with it. It's, it's been greatly, uh, uh, what's the word? Inadequately titled, uh, I believe. It shouldn't be called Certified Ethical Hacker. It should probably be called something else. I don't know, but whatever it is. It's, you're not an ethical hacker after you pass this cert. Um, but that's my opinion. Others out there might, might disagree, and that's fine. But anyway, so again, back to Pentest Plus, why I'm taking Pentest Plus. Um, so once I get that, it'll, it'll, the company will pay for it. Um, it's a little great on my resume as far as for the future looking for pen test opportunities and red team opportunities. Um, obviously, OSCP is a much higher, more advanced cert. That still, again, is on my radar. As you, you know, I've been documenting my progress on that. But at the end of the day, I feel like, um, again, it's about supplementation. You supplement your resume, make it look better than the competition, put as much as you can as relevant to your goal, and at least in this way, you can guarantee at least in the very least a job interview. <clears throat> if your resume is super beefed up and you get in the interview and you trash that, that's on you. Um, at the at the end of the day, you get experience from interviewing. You you kind of you can learn what the employers are looking for, what kind of questions they'll ask you. So when you go again the next time or whatever, you'll be better prepared. So that's me. Another reason uh, I decided to go for the Pentest Plus. Uh, so several months ago, or a few months ago, when you go to, when you went to the CompTIA Pen, Pen Test Plus site to read about the Pen Test Plus, they uh, they were really going hard on CEH. Uh, I look now, and and the verbiage isn't there. I'm not sure if they got complaints about it or they changed it. Maybe someone else out there can vouch for me if you remember this. But a few months ago, if you went to CompTIA and looked up Pen Test Plus, a lot of their marketing promotional material was basically just trashing CEH basically saying why take CEH when you could take Pentest Plus and then they had a list of reasons and it was it was comical um, I enjoyed reading it but they were basically saying CEH lacks this lacks this lacks this and Pentest Plus has this has this has this so for me it was kind of at that moment when I was reading that that I decided okay Pentest Plus I'm going to get it for the simple fact that CompTIA was going so hard uh, in trying to replace CEH as, as I understand at the moment, they are not DOD 8570 compliant, but the way they were gunning at CEH a few months ago, I feel like that's something that's definitely on their radar. Um, and then with the issues that CEH has been having, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe in the update, the 8570 update or whatever, maybe DOD will take them off and put temp, pen test plus in their place. I don't know. I'm just strategizing for the future. I'm thinking ahead. Um, if... DOD puts Pentest Plus on that list and I have it, I'm done. You know, I have it already. If it takes CEH off and I have Pentest Plus, I'm still good. The reason, you know, it's all about strategizing, looking forward into the future, trying to see trends and see what's happening with marketing and certifications and all that. Um, I know earlier this year, if you got the Cisco CCNA uh, Cyber Ops cert, that was a brand new cert, came out this year, I think September, October, and that was put on DOD 8570, like automatically, like before it was even uh, a test. So um, that didn't happen with Pentest Plus, but again, I'm sure CompTIA is lobbying the DOD to put that on there uh, to help their marketing with, with that exam. Um, I don't know if CEH will fall off or, you know, because CEH has been uh, getting a lot, of, a lot of industry flack f over the past few years for a lot of different reasons. So. Maybe CEH will fall off as an industry standard and Pentest Plus as far as will take its place as far as that is concerned. I don't know. Who knows? Either way, um, I'm definitely taking a Pentest Plus in a week and a half. Uh, as far as study material, I'll be right back. Let me get let me get that. So as far as uh, study material, this is one of the books that came out this year. Cybex. My light just died. Right, my light back. As far as the Pentest Plus study material, this is one of the books that came out this year. It's the Pentest Plus Cybex. Cybex books are always great. I swear by them. It's pretty simple. I'll put I'll put the link to that book in the description. Um, it's pretty straightforward. The thing and the thing about this that I really liked was while I was doing OSCP, going through the OSCP course book, 
actually, you know, uh, attacking virtual machines. So, pardon the change in appearance. One of my lights died. But anyway, getting back to what we was talking about. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, as far as going through the OCP course and, um, you know, going through the OCP course and studying and attacking machines, this book was a pretty simple read. Um, it, to be honest, there wasn't much I learned, but there were tidbits of, of new information that I did get from this. Um, as far as the practice tests and, and all that, I've been doing pretty well on it. So I am a, a thousand percent confident that I, I could take this test today. Uh, but I just scheduled it for a couple of weeks just to spend more time on OSCP and, and uh, the book or whatever. But um, And that's, that's another reason why I feel it was no-brainer because while I'm studying from OSCP, which is much more advanced, this is uh, this book here, this multiple choice question. I mean, this is a no brain. You might as well just get it under, get that certifi certificate under my belt. And again, it's free. My company's paying for it. So that's, that's one of my <clears throat> the benefits of my uh, employment. So as I was saying, uh, I'm a supplementer on my resume as far as IT certs. Again, I feel it's important to, uh, if you're not well connected with hiring managers and, and corporations, or you have a reputation as a cybersecurity guru, I really feel it's important to to beef up your resume as much as possible with education, experience, and certifications. Um, Pentest Plus is basically going to help me. You know, it's a great learning tool. It's great studying for another certification. It's a multiple choice, so that's going to be pretty easy. Um, if you go to the site here, uh, CompTIA, they try to do this uh, this comparison. I don't think it's fair, to be honest. I really feel like, you know, they should have uh, probably five checks here for OACP and not intermediate. They should just have advanced on this. Um, but again, this is all marketing. This is promo. They're trying to sell their test. And if you look at this, it almost seems like it, it, these two are kind of equal. But we both know that's not true. Um, real world based with a lab and submit a report. I mean, that's true. But I really don't feel like these should be remotely close. But anyway, I don't know. That's just my opinion. Um, so that's why I'm getting the Pentest Plus. It is not replacing OSCP for me. I'm definitely still getting my OSCP. Pentest Plus is just another fun cert to obtain along the way. Throw on my resume. Hang on my wall here. Um, it, I also, it'll add CEUs to my CISSP and my uh, my EC Council, my, my CEH cert. Um, and also CEUs for my CompTIA requirements. So I feel like it's a no-brainer. That's what I'm going to do. Um, it's a fun, fun book to read. Um, there might be some things in here. If you're doing an OZP, there might be some things in here that you didn't know, which is always good to know to broaden your knowledge base. Um, something I did learn in this was the CVEs and CVSS and how they do the scoring. That wasn't an OSCP. I've never actually seen that before. Um, so I thought that was, that was great to look at. Um, there's also some virtual some new virtual things in there about virtual escaping. I've, I've never even knew that was a concept until I read the book. So um, so that's why I'm taking Pentest Plus. If you have any questions or concerns, comments, uh, you want to debate me or you feel I'm wasting my time with Pentest Plus, go ahead and hit the comments. Um, again, this is this is not the be-all. Pentest is not the be-all, do-all. It's just a supplement. Uh, it's free for me. So I, might, I feel like I might as well take it and... Uh, yeah, I just made a video about it, so hopefully you enjoy. Um, if you have any questions, hit the comments. If you like, like. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you want to share, go ahead and share. Um, and I'll see you guys next week.